Welcome back, fourth graders. And now we're going to start looking at writing the essay. Okay? Remember, essay is just a fancy word for summary or story. Okay? Identify the theme, which is the main idea or what it's all about, or the topic sentence. Okay? Identify the theme in Just Like Home and a theme in Life Doesn't Frighten Me. Write an essay that explains how the theme of the story is shown through the characters and how the theme of the poem is shown through the speaker. So when the story has characters, the poem has a speaker. Because notice there's no one, they don't mention anybody in the poem, but somebody's talking and that's called the speaker. And then it says, make sure you have details from the story and the poem to support your essay. So let's first look at Just Like Home. And that's one that they have here first for us, but I can, I can see how I can tab between the two stories right now. So let's do Just Like Home first. What is Just Like Home all about? Well, there's a little girl named Priya. She's moved to a new place. And is she friend? Is she friendly there? Nah, she has no friends. But she starts doing something. She starts drawing. She uses the chalk. And what does that do? It attracts all those new kids to start drawing with her. And they all, from their different parts of their country, have used art there too. And my goodness, and they're all drawing and they're adding to the pictures and it's creating one giant picture. And then what happens at the end is everybody, each one is joining. The teacher comes over and says, it's beautiful. And now everybody comes over and they start looking at it and saying, wow. And what does Priya says? It's just like home. It looks like home. It reminds her and it's making her feel comfortable. It's going to make everybody because all of them are doing that. So the theme about this is, well, it's just like home. Is it trying to make you feel comfortable? It is. So the theme, I'm going to start the theme in, I'm going to use just, oops, they've capitalized it because I'm going to look and see just how they did it. They capitalized it. So I'm going to capitalize that just, oops, just like home um, is about what? It's about, well, it's about being comfortable. It's about being home. It's about missing home, being comfortable when you're scared, when you're lonely. Hmm. That's kind of what the poem's about too. So I'm going to say that it's about doing something you know how to do to make you feel comfortable. Hmm, that's kind of what it's about. And what's some examples? Um, Priya, how do you spell her name? Priya, oops, P-R-I-Y-A, takes some chalk from the classroom and begins drawing on the pavement. And that reminds her of being home. This is what she did at home in India. Absolutely. And then what happens? Huh. Some other kids join her, right? First one that joins her is Enrique. Enrique, he says, a boy in her class was watching her. It's called Rangoli, she said. They do this in India where my parents are from. And he goes, you know what that reminds me of? I'll show you. And he, he starts, he says, it's my grandmother's house in Mexico. So they're all like getting memories of their home. Wow. So each child, oops, I got to click over there because I'm over here now. Sorry. Each child joins Priya. Oops. And then I'm going to tell, you know, oops, I got to spell her name right though. Priya. Um, and begins drawing pictures from their home, right? From their home. Now, do they overlap and connect or are they very separate? They are connecting. Each picture connects to the other students, oops, students' pictures. Absolutely. 
And that's reaffirming. Those are examples from the story that's helping her feel more comfortable. And at the end, what does she say? At the end, Priya says, it is just like, oops, I'm going to use a quotation. It is just like home. And that tells me the theme. Now I'm going to go to the poem. So I'm going to toggle over to the poem. And what's the, the poem? Oh my goodness. That's that confidence when she's afraid. So I'm going to start another paragraph in the par in the poem. And again, just like how they do it, life, oops, capital, doesn't frighten me. The speaker, because now it's a speaker, tells about the confidence, the she gains by, is it through her imagination? Or every time she's afraid? Yeah, it's confident she she shows every time she's afraid and she just gets more confident. Confident she shows. Oops. Each time she is afraid. Wow. As oops. As the poem continues, she grows in her confidence. Now you you are definitely going to have other ideas and other examples and I want you to have different ideas okay and different examples okay Oop, confidence I can't talk and type that's for sure but now let's say you wanted to we're stopping for the day we can highlight this and I can control C copy I can go back to my sample here and now my internet's been really slow and right here where it says use this I can type it right here I can control V paste it and I have everything that I've typed oh look at I misspelled India Wow okay so but now let's say I'm gonna go back I can control C and you know what I have gotten off of the test skill and they've closed me out and I had to log back in you can log back in and jump right back to this story part okay and if it does I can go like let's say this isn't even here right now okay I'm gonna delete this I can paste it right there and it's right back and wasn't India misspelled uh, I don't see where oh there's India India look at that. it doesn't tell me that a word is misspelled India each child joins Priya now during the test you're not gonna be able to go back to a Google Doc it's just right now we have that freedom to be able to do that because I want to be able to read because I'm going to grade your story based on cops. Do you have capitals where they're supposed to be? Are you organized? Have you done what they've asked you to do? Did you identify the theme in the poem in the story and give examples from the story that support it? Did you identify the theme in the poem and then give examples in the poem? And see, and I that's what I need to do next is give my examples from the poem. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to have you do that. And then I'm going to ask you about your punctuation, Almost where they're supposed to be. Do you have periods where they're supposed to be? Notice here I have dialogue right there. This is where I have dialogue right there. And I have put in my punctuation where I wanted it to go. I have done at the end, I have an introductory phrase. I put my comma in. I have my quotations around the titles just like they do. I have my words capitalized like they do in my titles. I'm going to be grading that. And then spelling. Are you spelled right? I had India misspelled. I'd get a point off for not spelling India right. Okay, so I'm hoping that this will just help you to be better at this, this skills. Okay, notice here I can bold, I can italicize, I can underline, I can bullet if I want, I can number, I can undo or redo, I can spell, oh, I can spell check. Let's, you know, let's get rid of that I in India and let's spell check it. It does. If I spell check it, it does. And look at that I can fix it so you can spell check Wow that I didn't realize that was on there so that's awesome well this is gonna wrap up our testing skills videos this is the last one 
I started to write with you, but you're going to write your own and feel free. Don't use my examples. Use yours. Use your. There's so many examples from the story that can support your ideas. Okay. And so do your very best. Turn it in and um, I'll get it back to you really fast and we'll see how we do. Okay. Because our testing is going to be in April. 